you don't want to morph into someone that's like really out of shape. Right. Well, I'm Matt. And I'm Carter. And I get blood today. Supposedly. That's... There's a lot of things that could be from... <laughs> I got stabbed by a squirrel. And lived. I um, think most people would. You'd be surprised. Statistics they, are very high. What did the squirrel stab you with? Uh, I think it was like a sharp acorn. You know the top of the acorn you can grab? The, it was that. It, <laughs> okay. held, it held the top of the acorn backwards, like like by its little angry claw, and it... And it it stabbed me with the top. Why wouldn't I can't, it just use its claws? I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I lied. I fell on a squirrel. Carter, I was thinking earlier as I was laying on top of the squirrel. <laughs> okay. okay. Great way to start any sentence. <laughs> was... So there I was, laying on top of the squirrel. <laughs> just thinking, how did I get here? What could I have done differently with my life? And I thought, if we had an intern, I wouldn't have to go out to make this run that I made today. I don't know if an intern would help with that. And that gets me to the the shade for today. Okay. Is because we look at we were looking at interns and we'd love to have an internship. Feel free to message us if you guys are looking for some credit. We were looking at getting an intern. We yes. weren't just staring creepily at a bunch <laughs> of interns. That one looks good. Swipe right. There's this office building across from this empty parking garage that we go to. That's actually where the squirrel was. <laughs> <laughs> That's the part we're leaving out. Oh, man. So we were looking at how great it would be to have an intern, of yes. course, because we're doing, like, the editing, the online um, uh, advertising, the the SEO, which is, like, the search engine optimization for be able to find us, keywords and networking, and it, we got crap to do. So an intern And thumbnails. And thumbnails. They're, Just throwing that out there. I mean, they're, yeah, we've got... Matt works really hard on those. <laughs> yeah, I do the thumbnails. Thank you guys. Or I hate you. They, I do work hard on them. No one thanked you. I just I, I just said that you do the thumbnails. Okay. I hear what I want to hear. Right. So that got us to today's shade of should unpaid internships exist? Because we don't really have much of a budget here. Right. And so we're like, we should do an unpaid internship. And then we thought... I feel bad doing that. I know. I feel bad too. I will say though, yeah. if we did do an unpaid internship, you would actually get some experience. Oh yeah, like we would actually teach you stuff. Yeah, we, we wouldn't just be like you are now our slave essentially. Like yeah. go get me coffee, print this thing out, rub my feet. Like no, you would be like learning to edit or like learning how to do the search engine stuff or like mm -hmm. you know, you would learn things in case you're ever interested. Yeah, feel free to message us. But this is not one of those pitch help us with the show type things. Really I guess, feels like I guess it's turning out to be one. <laughs> Please help us. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, should they exist? Right. Uh, because it's the, the problem with these things are most companies <laughs> that offer this, they don't actually teach you yeah. stuff. You, you know are, who you are. You are the gopher of that company. You go for the coffee. You go for everyone's lunches. Right. Um, you, you go for broke, basically, because you don't get paid. Right. Uh, so, but you, you don't learn anything. According statistically to the internet uh, Google search that we did, uh, <laughs> most companies don't actually end up hiring unpaid interns. So you go to the internship to build experience. They sell you on it because they're like, yeah, you come work in this office. You'll learn how the office works. You'll learn how this job works. You'll see the day-to-day -day life. It'll build experience so you can go on to find a job. Sounds great. Yeah. You do the internship. You go through the whole program. You get to the end of it and apply for a job. And then that company is like, yeah, uh, you didn't really do much around here of any value, so you don't really have experience that we're looking for. I mean, yeah, why would they hire you to continue getting coffee and lunch and stuff like that, rubbing people's feet, when they can just get some other sucker to do it for the next six months to a year, probably six months, uh, unpaid? Yeah. Like, why would they? It, it makes no sense financially. Right. So unless they actually teach you a skill, like we are going to teach you accounting, and then you will be a valued accountant. Right. It's not worth it, and they're not going to hire you. And yeah. most people lose, was it 18000 I think it was 12000 12, uh, Let's agree with thirteen. Okay. 
<laughs> you know, I think it was like tw- like twelve thousand dollars. That's what they lose by not working at a normal job. Right, because then they have to pay for their own expenses and everything while yeah. they're working this internship and not making any money. I am super pro apprenticeships. I think that should still be a thing. Why did we get rid of that yes. and replace it with college? Hundred percent. I know you, you go through college, you come out with hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt, no experience, no one will hire you, so you just go right back to working at Starbucks and you never get anywhere with your life. Apprenticeships, you actually go work hands-on with someone who is doing a skilled thing, yeah. and you learn how to do that, and eventually you become a master in it and start your own practice or whatever it may be. Totally awesome system, especially since apprenticeships, they used to like give you a room to sleep in and give you food. So you had room and board taken care of, and you're learning hands-on. It's a sweet deal, and I guarantee, I mean, unless you're like a bad employee, they will hire you because they have just trained you the way they want that person to work. Well, you're effectively working for them while you're the apprentice. Yeah, but they train you exactly the way, the way they want you to work. So they see like you're doing the job. Mm-hmm. You now know a skill you didn't before because of them, right. which is the whole point of it. And now they can hire you and they they now know your work ethic and your quality of work. Yeah. It's a perfect system. And even if you go to school, you get, and we're not telling you not to go to college, um, but even if you go to school and get like just $50,000 in debt, just $50,000 in debt. Yeah. You then have $50,000 in debt and a piece of paper, maybe electronically, but mm-hmm. I think they print it out for you, that says you have four years of schooling, but you have zero experience. I know, which is screwed up because come on, you've got the education, like give someone a chance. <laughs> it's the whole point of like a starting position. Like I don't, like any of you have looked for jobs in a starting position, you'll know that when you apply, a lot of the time it'll be like entry level position or base position or starting position, five years of experience required. Dude, that is not a starting position. That is a five years of experience. We're going to pay you because you're worth your experience. Not we're going to pay you as if you're someone who knows nothing, but demand that you know everything. I would say a very large percentage, even if it's not five years, is like one to two or two to three, two to four. Mm-hmm. I see that constantly in um, in job postings. It's like must have a minimum of two years experience, yeah. uh, base pay or you know starting out. It's like I'm not starting out if I've got a couple years of doing this already. But, all right, so it sounds like you are super against this. Yeah, and the more I think about it, I just, you know, corporations suck in general. All right, so and then I'll say I'm more for this uh, because... But you know you what, Matt? Be you aware. suck. <laughs> <laughs> but you should be aware of what you're getting into. Look at the job. Look at what you're doing. After a week, if you're not actually being taught anything, be like, yeah, I'm leaving. Right. You guys aren't doing anything. Or demand to me. be taught something. Yeah. We got to turn the tides here, fight back, get them to actually educate us. Maybe talk to other people who've done that internship and see if they actually benefited from it. And definitely look to see if they normally hire people on. When you're interviewing for the internship, definitely ask that. Don't just assume it because a lot of places won't hire you afterward. And that's a good sign that you want to walk away from it. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right. So I'll go ahead and take that. uh, We should, it should exist. Right. All right. Because, you know, clearly more in favor of that. Right. And you'll take, uh, it can burn in hell. I don't feel that strongly. I do feel strongly about people getting taken advantage of. But so do I. In general, with internships, I do think you should be paid. So, yeah, I'll take against unpaid internships. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I think you probably should get paid to at least something. But right. for this, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm not going to go with rock. I'm not going to go with scissors. <laughs> Psychological warfare right, right now. Does that mean we are? Let's find out. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock! Rock! Ah! Oh, boom! Paper covers rock. Matt didn't see that one coming. Uh, I re- so, sorry guys, you gotta pay your interns. I reversed it when I shouldn't have. And if it's not worth it to you to pay your interns because they're not doing anything significant, maybe think about if you actually need interns. <laughs> Welcome to the Would You Rather, folks. Oh, we're doing this. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I got the energy to back up the back half of this show. <laughs> Let's go with it. All right. All right. So, today's Would You Rather. Yeah. Would you rather be able to impersonate anyone's voice perfectly? Oh, I, lo- I would love to be able to do that. Or change your physical appearance to anyone or to anything Ooh. one time permanently. Oh, so I can change into that but not back. Right. Oh. So it might Ooh. be like, oh, I'll change it to a dog. Yeah, you're stuck as that. Uh, yeah, but what if you changed into like the rock and then, <laughs> and then you were like, all right, but now I'm a... St- Perfect stunt double for The Rock. You would be a 
disturbingly. <laughs> like, I think you would meet with The Rock and he would be like, I'm sorry. I'm a little weirded out right now. You'd be like, Because <laughs> that's a normal reaction to see in a mirror. <laughs> yeah, but when the mirror talks back to you. Right, that's true. Oh, man. My first thought was like, yeah, I'd love to be able to do impressions. Although, although then you could just be yourself and really worldwide famous for having impressions. And then you could do vocal impressions for like cartoons or something. Right. Or phone calls. You could do that as yeah. a famous person. Yeah, true. Oh, this is so difficult because I put myself in the whole duplicate as the rock situation. I'm just imagining um, like turning into Steven Spielberg and then like, st- like I, I can't like be Steven Spielberg. I still yeah. have to be Carter Heisey. But I like go and audition for something or like try to get a like <laughs> – Trying to get a directing gig, and they're like, they meet with me, and they're like, "Whoa, whoa, you're Steven Spielberg." Like, I know. I'm trying to, I'm kind of trying to do this project more on the down low, so I'm using a fake name for it. <laughs> Instant hire. Yeah. But then I would also die much faster because I would have chosen to be a much older person than I am. Oh, that's true. All right. So who is famous? Fit. You don't want to morph into someone that's like really out of shape. Right. John and, Krasinski would be good. That guy's younger. got a good career right now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and wait, how old is he? I want to say he's in his late 30s or early 40s. Nah, he nah. When he started The Office, he was in his early 30s, I think. I probably wouldn't want to be anyone famous that's like 20. You wouldn't want to be? I probably wouldn't. I don't think I would either. I'd rather be like a seasoned celebrity. Yeah. Assuming that we're going with that one. Yeah, yeah. I just, I want, I want to play that out. All right, so, right. all right, so I'm just going to say for myself, because I would either pick, as much as I love, like, Tom Welling and Kurt Russell, those guys are awesome. And you could also just choose to be a younger version of oh, that's them. that's true, because you're morphing. You right. couldn't go around and pretend to be them, because obviously you're much younger. Yeah. But... You could still look like them if that's what you want to do. You could play them in flashbacks of movies. True. That there's, I mean, there's, there's a little niche. There's a market. Yeah, there's a niche for a market for that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go for myself, like The Rock, right. or be able to impersonate any voice. Oh man, I feel like I have to actually decide this right now because this is real. Um, you know what? I think I would go with the impersonate any voice. That would just kill at parties if I could do a dead-on impersonation of anyone that I want to. I would be so I could like I could I could really make that work for me. I'm gonna agree with that. As much as I hate passing on the opportunity, as if this is real right now, right? Uh, to be a younger rock, I would say, yeah, I would love to do the impersonation because you can still be yourself. You're yeah. still you, but you just have like this huge talent. Yeah. Right now, at that point. Yeah. Where you can just, oh my gosh, you can do so much. Oh my god, and the voicemails you could leave for people. Oh yes. Right. Oh, plus you'd be able to sing at perfectly anything. That's true. I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, you would be pitch perfect. And you you could put down anyone as a reference for a job application and then just have a phone number going to like a burner phone and then just be that person. Yeah. So you could be like, oh, yeah, I'm applying for this uh, – this gig or something and like here are my recommendations and it's like kurt russell and steven spielberg and danny devito those are just the first three names off the top of my head yeah i mean it's that's that's a variety what if they call it while you're still there they don't because that's just that's rude. not how it works yeah you call you're, your phone rings right on the other side of their door <laughs> right uh well, I mean, that could just... Okay, I'm just super talented, man, okay? I don't right. really know Dan DeVito. I'm just... I'm super talented. Right. You caught me. I'm the world's best impersonator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you could do the guy's voice. And if you don't hire me, I can call your wife later and pretend to be you and say a lot of things that would ruin your marriage. You could actually just echo back whatever someone says to you and they think the phone's broken. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that would be pretty great. That'd be... Oh, this would be a lot of fun. I, I, yeah, I would definitely go with that. Yeah, there's more fun to be had there. <laughs> yeah. But anyway... Found out that you need to pay your interns, especially if they can do really cool impersonations, which is what we would pick uh, over changing into The Rock. That's right. But in the meantime, remember to comment, like, and oh my gosh, guys, there's subscribe buttons in here the whole time. You should push that. (laughs) Uh, Putting ham in the copier will not make more ham. That's true. Ring the notification bell. Invite your boss out for drinks. What could go wrong? Yeah. And remember, what happens at the Christmas party stays at the Christmas party. And as always, I I Kaga. Yep.